start my bath and body and self-care products i have a half used coconut cream pie and this is part of the bake shop collection that came out last winter and i love it next we have pumpkin vanilla creme well, it looks like this i love how sleek it is and then that is the notes on there if you want to see the nice orange wax on there and then i have a decorative candle right here i think it's gorgeous i got it from cracker barrel over to my left i have the winter candy apple it looks like this it's very iridescent it has a red wax on it and then the notes at the bottom i have two more coconut cream pies and then i have this salted caramel candle and i've had this for a few years now it's not my favorite but i don't hate it and these are the notes on here this is harvest gathering i think i got it last year this is the bottom of the notes if you're interested this is like a very fresh apple scent i think they did come back with this one this year the next one i have is frozen lace and i really like this it's very fresh for the winter time even in the summertime too and I like that the wax matches the actual container these are the fragrance notes this is midnight blue citrus i have a lot of these in the wallflowers and it smells so good it's just like i said very fresh i like very fresh fruity and gourmand smelling candles and this is definitely one of them if you are a fresh lover this is it the pink Fairy gumdrop and this smells like my actual childhood the metal part lights up right here and it's just a really pretty scene to look at it's very sweet as you can see i probably burned it maybe once or twice i have two black cherry merlots i am obsessed with this like i burn this year round it is one of my favorite scents in the permanent line and that's the notes at the very bottom i have market peach this one came out this summer it's a very nice fresh peach scent and it fills up a room very well. I have is snowflake and citrus and this is a winter candle as well. It came out last year at least this packaging. This is a notes. It actually kind of smells like frozen lakes but a little bit more citrus. I have a mostly burned champagne toast candle. It's a very sweet fragrance. This is the notes. Very dirty shall I say but that's okay all candles get a little nasty vanilla and peach tea and this reminds me of the ginger peach from pier one it's a nice fragrance the packaging is pretty it has like this bubbling on the top portion and the bottom it's kind of like a smooth mat all right so moving into the last of my candles in here i have mostly abundance of just bulk candles for instance, this one I got about maybe two years ago, could be three, and this is one of their fragrances. They said that they like to test fragrances. It's very fruity. It came out in the winter time. That is the notes right there, and I love it. So I stocked up. I think I got either six of these, and I very and I burned these very sparingly. And right here I have a marshmallow fireside. When you light it up, it's one of their luminary candles where. The packaging lights up through the slits of the this right here. It has black wax to it. It smells like you're roasting marshmallows on a fireside. The next one is just regular fireside. And this is very woodsy. It has a white wax to it. And then this is the fragrance notes on it. And the last one I have over here is another luminary candle. It is the flannel and it burns very pretty. This one is half burnt. It's like very manly and I love that fragrance. The rest of it is all the same one candle and it is the welcome home candle. This one came out last year and this smells like sin a bun and a candle. And it is amazing. It has white wax, nothing special. But smells amazing, very spicy, very sweet. It smells like cream cheese. I love the smell of like sweet and cream cheese. And I bought 10 of these. As you can see, all of these candles left, except this one, are all the welcome home candles. And it's just stacked very nicely. Last two that I have are from Target. So pillar candles. 
and I do like to burn this. I burned this one a few times and it lasts a very long time. It smells so good. I like it. It's very musky. Like a man, I love like manly scents. And it is the Warm Amber Candle from Cheesepick Bay Candle Company. All right, so this cubicle, I have my aromatherapy lotions. I have some smaller single wick candles. I have some soaps and I have some body scrubs. My aromatherapy lotions and these bottles. I love these bottles. They look so expensive and it's really not. I mean, I got these on a really good sale. I like the small candles for my bathroom and I like to change them out seasonally. It just creates a nice little vibe. And so for my body scrubs, guava orange sea salt body scrub. And let me tell you, like if you're going to use this, do it before you shave because if not, you will be burning your armpits and other body parts. The next one, I have two more. There's one right underneath it, but I have the Dove Body Polish and the Crescent Macadamia Rice Milk. It's a moderate scrub. It's not too abrasive. I have Wicked Apple for the Halloween month coming up. I have two of the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Gentle Gel Hand Soap. Crisp Morning Air. Kitchen Lemon. Another Kitchen Lemon. Warm Sugar Vanilla. And then a Sun Was Citrus. Over here is just a few of the pumps that I have. The apple and Hibiscus. The Sun Washed Citrus. All right, and then in my bottom bin down here, I just have a whole bunch of body creams. These are all the cucumber lemon. I have a few of the Seaside Breeze, some coconut scented ones, a few of the aromatherapy lines, cherry limey, make a Mai Tai. Also, I have my freebies over here. I like to use these for hand lotions. I stock up like a little jar, take it to work with me. And I call it a day, but that's mostly it. As you can see right now, I am working on Magnolia Charm. All right, and then the last of my personal stash would be my sanitizers, my wallflowers, my room sprays, and my body sprays. 